Hi, and welcome to a special abbreviated edition of Whiteboard Weather. We're going to talk a little bit of weather, but we're also going to talk about basketball and special weather bracketology with the uh, head coach of the Duquesne Dukes men's basketball team, Keith Dambrot. Um, coach, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it here on the beautiful campus of the Duquesne University. And first things first, since you're a basketball guy, I have to get your input. I put out my bracket to the public at large about a week or so ago. And this is my bracket and my final four. Now I know that one of these is not going to come to fruition, but I want you to break down my bracket and what you think you see. Right now I have a fourth meeting between Duke and North Carolina for the national championship with North Carolina winning. You break it down for me and tell me what you think with your expertise. Well, first off, that's pretty good for a weather <laughs> So maybe you're. In the I, wrong, I know how to make it rain, Coach. Maybe you're in the wrong calling. Maybe you got to switch spots. Although I know I don't know anything about the weather. So. <laughs> I'm teaching you here today. You're, you're te teaching me. It's... You're teaching me. So uh, I noticed you really didn't let your hair down much. You kind of went with the popular picture. Yes. Yes. Um, and obviously this game here was a uh, was something that people uh, couldn't see coming. But Texas Tech is really playing great basketball right now, and it ought to be a very interesting game if if Duke gets there. Uh, Texas Tech is somebody that people don't know a lot about, but are, but is a very good basketball team. And then Virginia has had their struggles along the way in the tournament, but again, I think every every game they play is going to be a close game because of uh, the way they play, really. Uh, and then North Carolina, obviously, uh, they have to get by Gonzaga. Is that correct? Uh, they they'll, they'll meet. Oops, they'll meet Virginia in the Final Four if they both get there. Gonzaga's on this side. Oh, Gonzaga's on the other side. So North Carolina is a good basketball team as well. Uh, the, 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 the thing here that's so difficult is these teams are so very, very close that it really comes down to who's playing well at the right time and who could get a break or two. Yeah, and I, I did take a lot of chances here with three number one seeds making the Final Four. Well, you know, you're smart. I'm, I'm a risk taker. You I'm are. a risk taker. All right, let's, let's get to a special bracket. Now that we talk basketball, uh, he gave me his expertise. I'm going to let him take over. I put together a special Pittsburgh Weather Now bracket here, uh, and I have my regions set up, summer, fall, winter, and spring. Now, let me explain it to you, Coach. In the summer bracket, we're down to our Elite Eight. We have Sun, which was the number one seed, taking on Lightning, which was the number two seed in the bracket, so they both advanced that far as expected. In the fall bracket, Rain, the number one seed, made it all the way. Sort of the upset here, the dark horse, the Cinderella was Frost. They were the sixth seed and they made it all the way to the lead eight. Now I should mention it's a killing Frost, so that's probably why maybe they made it this far. They were a little under -seated. Over here in the winter bracket, we have Snow taking on Frigid Cold. They pulled a minor upset, beating out Freezing Rain, which was the number two seed. And then down, <laughs> down here, I can't believe I'm breaking down the weather bracket. Down here in the spring bracket, we have the one and two seeds, Tornado taking on Hail. So coach, you break it down for me, and you tell me who you think is going to advance all the way to be champion of the Pittsburgh Weather Now bracket. Well, to me, this is a half full versus half empty bracket. So I'm a half full guy, obviously. Uh, I believe Duquesne's going to make it to the yeah. NCAA tournament and and to the Elite Eight. So I'm going to I'm going to go with who I like. Okay, you do and that. So I'm going with Sun. Okay. Because everybody knows. Your glass is half full. I like it. I like it. And I don't really want the tree falling in my on my house in the back. I like your I like your rationale. And then over here, like I don't really want anything to get killed. And killing frost that doesn't really float my boat. So I'm gonna go with the rain, even though okay. I'm not a big rain guy. Well we get plenty of that here, so I'm not surprised the rain made it to the final four. I, I played college baseball, so I was out in the rain in the spring a lot, but I I'm still I like that better than the frost. And then over here I hate the cold, so I have to go with the snow. Gotcha. I think but, a lot of people are with you. But I'm going moderate snow, not high high volume snow there. And again, I'm going to go with the hail over here because I think that's a little more interesting than the tornadoes are a little bit too violent for me. So okay, I'm, well, that's an upset there. A lot of people might, yeah, that tornado probably, people had them going all the way to the championship game, but I like where your head is here. I just, I just... Listen, I gotta be optimistic, so I, I really don't want the tornado. So our final four now is sun for summer, rain is advanced from the fall bracket, snow in winter, and hail in spring. Who do you see going to the final here from sun and rain? Well, I'm going sun. All right. Right here? Yep. 
I'm going sun again because uh, I'm sure we don't get much sun here in the winter, so we're going to get as much sun as we can in the summer. So All right, go then. with sun. And who are they taking on in the final? Well, I hate snow because mm -hmm. I'm a non-skier. I have basketball season, so I'm going with the hail. Okay. Again. I think I know where you're leaning here with the champion. So uh, who are you going? Here's our final now, our championship round. Sun is taking on hail. Who's taking home the title? We're going sun all the way. Sun, baby! Even though at my age, I have to stay out of the sun because I'm not, I'm not uh, getting any of those carcinogens. There it is. I, I appreciate your glass being half full. Sun takes home the championship of the Pittsburgh Weather Now weather bracket. Coach, thank you very much. I can't let you go without doing a little bit of a weather forecast. My specialty here is meteorology and weekend weather, and we've always said that March Madness happens in Pittsburgh in the weather department as well because we can see these huge temperature fluctuations and changes in weather. So um, if you want to break this down, this is March Madness all in one weekend. Here's the forecast for tomorrow if you want to read that off, and then for Sunday you'll notice big temperature difference. Well, it looks pretty good. 63 degrees isn't bad for this time of year, mild and breezy. Uh, out of the south, 10 to 15 miles per mm -hmm. hour. But those evening showers, we got to watch those showers at night. And uh, and then on Sunday, we have a snow for you? In the morning, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I hope you're wrong. Are you wrong sometimes? Never. Never. Okay. Snow, <laughs> snow flurries on Sunday and then brisk and colder and clouds and late day Sunday. So look at that temperature. That's twenty, almost 25 degrees. Jeez, you'll be in shorts tomorrow. And you'll bring the winter jacket out on that, Sunday. That's Pittsburgh, right? That is Pittsburgh, and that is March Madness in the weather department. My special thanks to the university or Duquesne University head basketball coach, Keith Dambrock. Appreciate it. Thanks for breaking down the bracket, the bracket, and the forecast. That'll do it for Whiteboard Weather Mini Edition, Special Edition. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.